And we're back with more of our special Rawson Reports School Security Guide. This morning we're focusing on college. Today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rawson has been checking out the latest gadgets that'll help keep your kids safe while they're away. Jeff, good morning. Hey guys, good morning. It's move-in time at colleges across the country. Students away from home, many for the first time. And now schools are warning them to be careful. The most recent government numbers are alarming. 37,000 crimes on college campuses in 2016 alone. But good news, we found some simple and cheap gadgets on the market right now to keep students safe walking to class, even inside their own dorm rooms. School just started and already reports of a sexual assault at Oklahoma State University. Everybody just literally got here Wednesday and a sexual assault has already happened. In fact, across the country, violent crimes from Hofstra University to Stanford. But now these products and the free app designed to protect students. But do they really work? We're headed to college to test them out. The University of San Diego which has a good safety record. Let's start here inside one of the dorms and we're gonna try out this product, it's from Sabre. It's the dorm and apartment safety kit. It comes with a doorstop, a personal alarm, and a window alarm. We're gonna try this out because it says that it can keep students safe here inside the dorm. So we're gonna come in right over here. Come on in. Monica said we can try it out with her. How are you doing, Monica? Great, how are you? You're a senior year this year, right? I am. Congratulations, Thank love you. that. So we're gonna try to install this and try it out, okay? Sounds great. First, the window. Monica installs this small alarm, quick and easy, just a sticky on the window. Okay, so I'm going to play the intruder here. <laughs> this isn't creepy at all, is it? Okay, so I'm going to open the window and we're going to see what happens. Ooh. It's loud. It's very noisy. If I were an intruder, I'd be out of here, but you would at least know to get out. Oh, yeah. Next, the door stop. Not only is this a door stop, mm -hmm. it's also an alarm. So oh, let me wow. show you how this works. Yeah, yeah, you set it up from the inside, let's okay. say when you're going to sleep at night or when you're in here. Yeah. And it'll stop the door, but then the minute the door hits this thing right here, uh -huh. and that gets depressed, yeah. the alarm goes off really oh, wow. loud. Okay. So it'll stop them, plus it'll wake you up. Yeah. So we're going to try this out. Sounds I'm, good. I'm going to flip it on real quick. There you go. Okay. I'm going to close the door, put it under your door like you normally would. Okay. See if this works. Pretty cool if it does. You're good to go. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yep. And it won't let me in, and it's really loud, and it won't let me in. That's definitely going to wake me up. Yeah, works. <laughs> but this next app goes even further, and best of all, it's free, called Noonlight. When you walk, you keep your finger on the screen. If something happens, you release, and the panic button engages. False alarm? You have 10 seconds to enter your personal PIN number. But if you don't, Noonlight sends your exact GPS location and description to the local police. Okay, so campus police know we're conducting a test, but they have no idea where on campus we are. We're going to see if they can get our exact coordinates and show okay. up, which is everything. Yeah, it's the most important part. During a real emergency. Okay, so your finger's on that. Right. Take your finger off like something's going on. Okay, so it says... After 10 seconds, we'll provide your info and location to police. If you don't enter your, your pin, which you're okay. not going to do, because if it's an emergency, you wouldn't. You wouldn't be able to. Moments later... So they're calling. All right, so let's answer the call. Hello? Hey, Miss Cooper, this is Moonlight, uh, formerly Safe Trek. I got your police alert. What is your emergency, please? I think somebody's following me, uh, but I don't know where I'm at. Oh, okay, but you don't know where you're at. Now, I'm showing that you're on... Okay, I, I, ha I can't go. I have to go. I can't talk. Yeah, so just like in a real emergency, you just yeah, hung up just... because you're scared. Instantly, Noonlight sends this screen to police with her name, photo, and exact location. Just minutes later. That is incredible. That is really fast. Super fast. Within wow. a couple minutes, if that. Officer, hi. Hey, in yeah. a real emergency, I mean, how critical is it that you got this information exactly her... Oh, orders. critical. Seconds count, milliseconds count. Not only did I have, like, the street name, but I had the intersection and, like, the nearby building. Simple gadgets to stay safe in school. Here's another tip. You should be careful posting your exact location on social media while you are there. And when you're walking alone on campus, tell a friend your exact route and when you expect to be home. If they don't hear from you within a reasonable amount of time, they know something is wrong and can contact the authorities. By the way, we have more safety links on our website right now, today.com slash Rossum Reports. Hope it helps. Back to you. All right, Jeff. Thank you so thank much. Thank you.